This is a brief tutorial on how to begin creating a timeline in Dippity. You'll first need to sign up for an account, but if you've already done that, then you'll just simply need to sign in with your username and your password. Great, on this page you can click on create a timeline to begin. Then you'll be asked to fill out this brief form on topic name. You can give your timeline a description in the text box. Choose a category and you have several options to choose from. So choose the one that's most appropriate. Make sure that the time zone selected is the correct one. Um, you can include a topic thumbnail, um, so basically an image to have as a timeline icon. Under permissions you want to keep the default settings which is anyone can view. Okay, when you're done you click on continue to add events. Great, from this page you can add events to your timeline by simply clicking add event. Then you come up to this page where you're asked to name your event. You can give it a title, a date, uh, I can use the calendar feature. You can give a description right here in the text box. Again, you can include a picture. Um, let's see if I have something here. You can also include more detailed information such as a link to a website. You can add in a location in the form of a street address and even post in a URL for a video. Okay. You can continue to add more and more events. Okay. And by default Dippity creates an event for you um, when you first created your timeline, so you can remove this if you'd like. Okay, and to view your timeline, you can also press continue. On this next page, this is where you would put your finishing touches on your timeline, like set zoom levels, uh, center on date, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and save to view the timeline. So here's where you'll start seeing all your events and you can continue adding events from this page as well. Um, to go inside an event just simply click on it and you can edit and include more information or if you've made a mistake of course you can use the delete button. Once you're done with your timeline, you can use uh, any of these to share your timeline or you can simply just copy and paste the URL address from the top. Alright, you're all set to start creating your own timelines.